you. Two in the countdown. Good afternoon and welcome to the multi-purpose room here in the Shuey Athletics Building at Marshall University. Uh, my name is David O'Leary. I'm the Associate Director of Digital Content here at Marshall. Um, we are here today for what is an exciting day, not only for the Marshall cross country and track and field programs, um, it's an exciting day for Marshall University and for the running community in the state of West Virginia as a whole. In a short time, we'll meet Mr. Keith Roberts who will be taking over as the Director of Cross Country and Track and Field um, here at Marshall University. Mr. Roberts is the first director in the history of track and field at Marshall, a program which dates back to 1910. Over a century later, in 2022-23, the herd is coming off a season with champions in both indoor and outdoor track. They're coming off a season with five NCAA preliminary qualifiers, they are coming off a season with 17 all-conference members between indoor and outdoor track, and they are coming off a season with a pair of all-conference members in cross-country. Coach Roberts will give us an introductory press conference before we open up to a question and answer session with our media. But to introduce Coach Roberts will be our Director of Athletics, Mr. Christian Spears. All right, who isn't proud of David? That was so good. You know, one of the things we try to do here is hire amazing people, and David is one of those. David, thanks for being on our team, but That was uh, spectacular, buddy. You know, I love Green Jacket Days. We talk about this a lot, and, you know, the reason why is because we get to bring a new family into our family, and the Keith Roberts family and Tessa are really special people, and those are the kind of folks that we want to have here at Marshall because we're building something amazing. I, I do want to, you know, take a minute to thank Beatrice Crane Banford, who ran this search, and... Uh, as a colleague that I trust and, and just so happy that she's a part of our team and I know Keith feels the same way. We're going to do some special things with her leadership. You know, 
often as the athletic director, you have someone who runs your searches for you to help choose the next head coach of a program. And that person pours into the background and understanding. And then they meet with you and they discuss it. And you discuss it together. And you make a great decision and you involve as many people as you can. You know, Andrew Brown helped lead the Greg Beal search. And our head coach for baseball is here. Greg, thanks for being here. Uh, you know, Deborah worked on Ari's extension, and Ari's here, our head coach from volleyball. You know, I actually got to run the search for Kim Stevens, our head women's basketball search, and I don't think I messed that one up, and I'm so glad that she's here with us and her staff and her team. You know, these are the kind of people we're bringing to Marshall, and these are the kind of people we want representing us. And we've done it again with Keith and Tessa and their family. Uh, you know, it fits exactly along the lines of the things that we're trying to do. I'll say this each and every time we have a press conference to introduce a new head coach. Got to have a connection to the place. And, you know, Tessa's family's right up the road in Gallipolis. Our CIO is here who's from her hometown and went to high school with her. Hi, Jody. How are you? Uh, and, you know, those are the kind of connections that you want. Keith's not that far away either, like born and raised outside of Columbus and you know, so we have these sincere, deep, meaningful connections to the place, and they know Marshall, and they know what it means to be at Marshall. You know, connection to people. So many of people in my uh, experience, I've crossed paths with Keith. Keith and I were together at Pitt. I know people he worked with and for. He knows people I worked with and for. So the relationship there and the connection to people is real and genuine, and we're going to be able to hit the ground running as a result. You know, and then finally, what's their passion? And I can tell you when I challenged Keith, like, listen, like, there are six sports that are a part of a track and field and cross country program. Men's and women's cross country, men's and women's indoor, men's and women's outdoor. Those six sports can make a difference on how successful an athletic program is. It's just the heartbeat of an athletic program is the track and field program. And if those six sports rise and flourish, all of us can rise and flourish. And we can have a department that we're so amazingly proud of over one, almost 100 student athletes on our track and field program. This is a large cohort of kids that are looking for an opportunity to take us to another level. We just joined the Sun Belt Conference. Let's go and win that thing. And when I challenged Keith, he was ready for that. His passion is real for what it's gonna take to lead us uh, to a Sun Belt Conference championship in one of our six sports. And, and then, you know, finally his purpose, right? He gets what we're doing at the largest level. At the end of the day, we're helping a young person reach their full potential, whether that's on the track, in life, with their family, after they leave Marshall. And I know for a fact that him and Tessa and the staff that he retained, uh, Kalen Bowen, our head, our head cross country coach, and Andrea, one of our assistants, with them, combined with them, we will continue to shepherd the student athletes that we have here to an amazing and remarkable experience while they represent us at Marshall. And then they're gonna go on to li lead lives of of uh, inspiration right, for others. Uh, I just know it to be true. So all of it is aligned and I'm thrilled on behalf of our president, Brad Smith, and our board of governors here at Marshall to introduce you to the first ever director of track and field and cross country, Keith Roberts. <laughs> Pass the baton. That's awesome. It's a pretty cool baton here. Uh, but I appreciate that. So might have to use this in the first conference meet. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Christian and Beatrice for uh, the interview process and allowing me this opportunity to come here. And President Smith, of course, um, the great institution that he's running. A lot of these things are what I looked into uh, when I was deciding to make this move, um, a move that I wasn't planning to make. Um, but there were so many things that lined up, the family being close, um, knowing the area, knowing the university, what it stands for, what it's all about, knowing what the program was leading to, okay, trying to get better, not just staying stagnant, not just being okay with being okay, right? We want to be great. So those are the things that, that led me to coming here, um, and I can't say enough with how excited I am to work with Coach Bowen, Coach Deem, and Coach Tessa, and the coaches that we're about to hire to put together a staff. Most importantly, the reason why we do this, and everybody knows this, uh, one thing I remember about Christian that he led at Pitt was why we do what we do. It was something that we brought an athlete up and we talked about that athlete and what they've done for the university, and this is why we do what we do. And if you're a student athlete right now, and I was speaking to you, which I know I have a couple here, and I, if you were a recruit and I was recruiting you, I'd ask you a trick question, okay? My trick question would be, and I apologize to the academic advisors, 
I'm going to give you a, a hint on what the answer is. You're a student athlete, what comes first? What do you think they all say? What are you supposed to say? Student, right? And I always tell them, I know a man from Central Ohio who doesn't have a college degree, right? He was not a college student, but he's the smartest man that I know. That's my father. But most importantly, he's one of the greatest men that I know. He made sure all his kids were always taken care of. He worked hard. He worked at a job that he retired from, never missed work, worked overtime on the holidays to make sure that we have everything we had. And that's exactly how I want to treat my student athletes, like people first. You're a person before you're a student. You're a person before you're an athlete. You're a person before you're a coach, right? So what we do in our program is we treat all our student athletes like people first. We're going to make sure that they, they're taken care of. If they need someone to talk to about things going on in their life, there's an open door policy. It doesn't matter if you're a distance runner, thrower, jumper, sprinter. You could go to any coach on our staff, and you're going to be taken care of. So you're always a person first in our program. As far as the student athlete part, you have to be both of those together, right? Right now we're both in a we're we're in a move right now, and our kids are at their grandparents. They're on the road. We have to be parents and coaches at the same time. Our student athletes have to be students and athletes at the same time. Take care of your commitments and do what you're supposed to do. I feel like those kind of things that we do in our program, the way we communicate with our athletes, we constantly send that message to them, and we don't just say it. We are examples of it, and we do it, and that makes them want to compete for us. And that's what's going to make our program special, and that's going to lead us into championships in the future, and our kids are going to love what they do, and they're going to love Marshall for years to come. So I appreciate everybody. Like I said, I don't want to talk long. I could actually talk all day. Somebody <laughs> asked me if I was nervous. I wasn't 100% comfortable coming up here, especially when I'm a little tired, but I never get nervous. I could talk all day. I could tell you stories and I can answer a lot of questions. So whatever you guys um, need from us, though, in the track department, we're always available. Um, I hope that people want to come watch us compete. Uh, it's going to be fun. Our kids are going to be electrifying. They're going to have energy. It's going to be track and field like you've never seen before. So come to our meets. Come watch what we have to offer, and you're going to enjoy the experience. Thank you. Let's go. Questions for either Coach Roberts or Athletic Director Spears. First is Paul Swan. You have all these positives here at Marshall University. What are some of the things that you feel like you need to work on immediately to get this program to where you want it to be? Honestly, I was taught a long time ago. First of all, it's about the athletes. We need to start recruiting. We had our first staff meeting yesterday, and that was the first thing we talked about. We probably talked about it for 90% of the meeting. So the coaches we have right now need to start recruiting, making sure we're getting student athletes in the door. The second thing that we need to do is make sure we hire our staff. And I know those sound basic, but you can't get it done without a good staff. Uh, good staff, good athletes. Once we get that established, we'll start working on some of the major things, you know, uh, that Christian talked about with facilities and, um, you know, the big things that are going to make, make it better in the future. But right now it's about the student athletes and the staff. Uh, you know, Christian mentioned the, the six different teams that are a part of the track and field program. How is being a director in that way being different than being a head coach of, over one particular team? Yeah, yeah, it's different in the sense that you have to be available and they have to know that you care. Um, and I think that's a unique challenge in our sport. I think it's something I have an advantage. If there's one thing I do talk about with myself is that I'm able to communicate with different people from different backgrounds, different events. I understand the events. Um, so being able to, to know, hey, I'm, you know, with the cross-country kids, coach wants me to be successful. He cares about me as a person. And same thing with the throwers, right? So from a personal standpoint, that's where it can be different, but it really shouldn't be, but it, it definitely is because it's more of an overall focus. And then just from a management standpoint, you know, how do you manage the staff and what we're doing and making sure that the staff is taken care of as well because – you know, there's going to be things that they want where we have to make a decision, and then you're going to have to make those tough decisions as well sometimes to make sure that we're doing things that are right, and but we're also being cohesive. Ben Anderson, WMU. Uh, uh, Mr. Spears, what, what about Coach or Director Roberts stood out the most about uh, other potential candidates for the job? Yeah, he, yeah, he didn't shy away from the challenge, right? You know, uh, Jeff did an amazing job for us and was here was here for 29 years. And when you're at a program for that long, that program, no matter how, you know, how collegial you try to be, how cutting edge you try to be, you just get sort of 
stuck in the way that you've been managing the program. And this gives us a chance to have kind of a new energy, a new enthusiasm, a new look, a new attitude. We just added the men's program back. You know, three, two new teams, we had, we had men's cross country. And then just having done it before and having recently done it, right? He's coming off of three championships at Eastern Illinois as the director of track and field there, and he did it in a two-year time frame. So that's the kind of momentum that I want to see, and, and he knows that, and this isn't meant to like, hey, challenge. This is meant, we're going to do this thing together. We're going to pour into track and field, and we're going to try to help elevate this program together. Any other questions? Keith, the, the resumption of the men's track program last year, you know, how much did that, kind of building off the momentum that Christian talked about, how much did that factor in to your decision to come and, and realize, you know, you can really take this thing and no pun intended and start running with it? Yeah. Uh, I have to be honest, sir, if, they, if we didn't bring it back, I'm not saying I wouldn't be interested, but I'm not a big fan of track and field being cut, so it had been hard for me. Um, and I understand why it has to happen sometimes, but I believe we need men's track and field just like we need women's track and field. So it was it was a huge part of it. Um, you know, it's what we are as a sport. Um, that's how our, our kids uh, train together. They work together. They run together. But it's just good for the overall campus community, right? It's more student athletes that get to be part of the athletic department and part of the university. Um, we can reach different um, areas of the, the Midwest and the country and the South and uh, wherever it is and, and bring in student athletes um, on the men's side as well. So it's a huge part of it. Last and I, question to Paul. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. One for, uh, for, for Christian. You're a big swing guy and you believe in doing things right. I'm building you up here. Um, how are you going to improve the, the outdoor track situation? Yeah, are you ready to talk about that yet? What maybe the future might hold for outdoor track to make it better for Marshall? You know, you know we, we have a vision for everything because everything matters and everyone matters. And eventually we're going to be in an outdoor track and field and soccer training complex. We are. What, how long that takes, when that will happen, you know, that's the good people of this community that care about Marshall. I'm going to need their help to do it. It's going to have to be a fundraise project. Keith and I talked about it at length during the process. We're going to do that together. So we're going to need to show results. Our track and field program it needs to rise. And when that happens, those things usually coalesce and they come together. And there'll be someone inspired by what we're trying to do with our track and field program. And then we'll have an outdoor track and field complex. That's going to be a, a soccer training facility as well. And Coach Grassy's all in and wants to be a part of that process with us. Uh, so, you know, I never, I never try to throw out a time frame, but it is a short play for me. It is not a long play. Thanks, everybody. We appreciate you guys. Thank you all for coming today. Are we getting pictures?